Hello, and we're back with Aquaculture Engineering. This is uh, lecture number seven, and this will be a review of another important aquaculture species, uh, the black tiger pond. There are a lot of uh, sh shrimp and prawn species uh, available, but we'll focus on the most popular um, culture and most available in the market species out there in the in Asia, particularly in the Philippines. Uh, at the end of this lecture, you should be able to understand the characteristics and production cycles of the black tiger pond or Peneus monodon species, uh, learn the bioselection criteria and characteristics in the aquaculture of the species. Okay. Uh, identify the ident um, environmental and water quality requirements uh, in, in the production and well become familiar with the established cultural practices and considerations in the production. Okay, let's go directly to the selection criteria and characteristics. We have here listed six. Uh, the Pneus monodon species is more carnivorous than um, most prawn and uh, shrimp species out there. And this relates or entails higher protein nutritional requirements in feeding the uh, species. Another remarkable uh, characteristic is that the animal grows up to 270 millimeters in body length and 260 grams in marketable size in just 10 months. This is a remarkable feat for, for, for the species. Um, it relates to the uh, good, good feed conversion ratio. Uh, unfortunately, this species has been severely affected by uh, viruses that um, are yeah, causing the diseases. And so that, okay, we, we in Asia, we have this as a uh, regular um, um, food uh, or dietary um, or specialty. So uh, the, the diseases has caused the decline or the dwindling of the culture of this uh, species and also the availability in the market. Uh, in this regard, the species is very much viable for uh, our two interventions such as the genetic improvement um, um, researches, okay? And also, despite the decline in, in the production or the culture, the, again, due to the diseases, the market of uh, the Pines monotone species is still very much uh, robust. It remains robust. But primarily, it's because probably the choice of, of Asians. We now go to the uh, production cycle, but before we go to the aquaculture, let us focus on the natural environment uh, of the black tiger prawns, and we start with the culture of prawns, of, of the eggs, okay, um, in the littoral zone. The viable eggs of the species, of the species are uh, spherical, yellowish, green in color, and somewhat uh, transparent. Uh, it ranges from point, uh, 27 to point 0.31 millimeters in diameter with an average of 0 0.29. Uh, the prawn reproduction happens in the open ocean, uh, 20 meters deep. Uh, this is far out already in the shore, uh, from the shore, okay, in the open ocean. Uh, in still water, the eggs sink slowly to the bottom, and the two-celled, four-celled, marula and embryonic obvious stages develop approximately 0.5, 1, 1.8, and 11 hours, respectively, after just spawning. And before hatching, the embryonic nucleus is observed to move intermittently inside the egg. The larval stage consists of six nucleus, three protozoa, three mices, and three or four megalopa substages. 
and the time required for each stage are about 1.5 days, 5, 4 to 5 days, and 6 to 15 days, respectively. Uh, the prawn moves around in its natural environment. Uh, born in the open ocean, the littoral zone, it moves towards the estuarine waters in its post larvae stage, beginning its juvenile period, while moving outward again up to seven meters deep in the ocean uh, floor during its sub adult stage. Uh, the adult prawn eventually returns to where it was born to mate and reproduce, and the eggs number 248,000 to 811,000 in quantity. And the aquaculture setup of this uh, species is just involves the use of uh, separate tanks uh, from the from the uh, rearing tank to the uh, nursery tanks in three weeks. So the, the the adults spawn and then these are harvested and stuck in rearing tanks where they hatch and grow into larvae. And once they are in the post larvae or the PL stage, they are um, moved toward two nursery tanks. And obviously, the prawns could not do as they are doing in the uh, natural environment when they are grown in aquaculture. All right, some established practices in the uh, aquaculture of black tiger prawns include initially feeding the larvae. Uh, okay. Uh, they first go to the environmental and water uh, quality requirements. For the environmental and water quality requirements, the black tiger ponds need moderate oxygen between 3 to 6 milligrams per liter. Uh, and as to the turbidity, they can tolerate levels of, uh, of more than even 200 milligrams per liter. Uh, for salinity, the optimal range is 20 to 28 parts per trillion or PPT. And although they can subsist in in levels with 35 ppt in the ocean in, in the ocean, uh, the juveniles and adolescents they're more tolerant because they uh, survive in the estuarine environments where salinity and temperature fluctuations are uh, very much observed. Uh, with regards ammonia and nitrite, which are um, contaminants or, or toxic substances, they can tolerate this while uh, in saline environments. The water optimum temperature is between 26.3 to 31.2 degrees Celsius, and they feed uh, on crustaceans. Although, again, I was already heard this a while ago that the 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 now the the um, larvae, they are eating already, they're, they're focused on the crustaceans and molluscs and anilids in their diets, okay? This is in the natural environment, so they can uh, still be grown uh, in, with uh, artificial feed. And lastly, we have the pH range between uh, 8.0 to 8.3. The, the last portion, we have the cultural practices. Again, I was already uh, quite ahead a while ago that we, well, well the, the practice of initially feeding the uh, larvae with microalgae and artemia nuclei. Uh, the artemia nuclei is a, um, it's also a mollusk, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a, also a species of shrimp. And it's a uh, red, well, it, it's really uh, culturally grown for just feeding, feeding or growing the, the larvae, okay? Then the post larvae, these are introduced already with our artificial feed. So they are weaned onto artificial feed. Now, a consideration with artificial feed is the uh, requirement for, for the uh, stability of this material because the, the, the prawns are fed at libitum. So the 
fridge should remain stable while immersed in water. They should not, uh, meaning they should not be breaking apart. Uh, another consideration in the culture system of the species is the preservation of estuarine waters, where the uh, the juvenile and adolescents are observed to uh, grow naturally or to stay for for a period of time. Uh, the the estuaries should not then be converted into ponds because, uh, well, the ponds would be a danger uh, or a risk in the damage or the destruction of this natural environment of the uh, juvenile and adolescent tiger ponds. Okay, so last we have the another uh, last cultural practice of growing the monodon species with the Indicus and Mergensis species. Uh, and this is, uh, well, in relation to better production and uh, commercial output, okay, for, for the aquaculture of this um, species. Okay, in the next uh, lecture, we discuss the another uh, species, which is um, a catfish, okay. <laughs>